Hello, my name is Rylan Engelhart, and it's my honor to be presenting myself to be considered as part of the Edmund Hillary Fellowship. My calling in life is to demonstrate the power of love, and the way that I am choosing to do that is through the work of Kiss the Ground, the nonprofit that I co created some seven years ago. And really, that comes to the problem that I'm looking to solve in my lifetime. Uh, and that problem is twofold. One is in consciousness, and second is in our interaction, our action uh, in relationship to planet Earth. Uh, in consciousness, we feel that we're disconnected, and so we make disconnected decisions and disconnected actions that ultimately have catastrophic effect. So when we can connect to our interconnection and our interbeing, with all of life, we start making different kinds of choices. And those choices that we start making are ones that have a regenerative effect, ones that have a beneficial effect on the people and places and things that are around us. And so I started this organization, Kiss the Ground, to really um, bring awareness and a possibility of how human beings can be a catalyst for regeneration on planet Earth, that we can be a keystone species creating a trophic cascade throughout all the ecosystems that we manage. That we can take agriculture from the arguably the most destructive system on the planet to being the one that can actually be the great redeemer. And so we create media to create these transformational ahas. Uh, we create training programs, curriculum to create education and awakening for people to understand the regenerative design principles and we also train farmers. We help farmers transition over a three-year period so that they can um, be stewarding their land in a regenerative way. And the way, the, the reason I want to come to New Zealand and spend time there and be part of the fellowship is that I really see New Zealand as a model for the world and that what we can prove in New Zealand can be duplicated and scaled around the world. And I believe that regenerative agriculture is well, agriculture being the second or first biggest economic economy in New Zealand, there's a huge opportunity to, with tourism, uh, agro-tourism and regenerative agriculture, we can really create some amazing demonstration projects in New Zealand uh, that then can be fulfilled upon and seen and modeled in the rest of the world. So thank you for your consideration. Thank you for your listening. And uh, I would be so honored to be a fellow.